Transitions are very popular on Instagram, but how do you do them? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a really quick snap transition so that you can get started with transitions on Instagram Reels. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers so that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. The first thing you want to consider when filming a snap transition is what change you're going to make. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different changes. The first change I'm going to do is I'm going to change my outfit. So I'm going to go from wearing this blazer to not wearing the blazer. And the second one, I'm going to do a change of scenery or props. So what I'm going to do is go from a clean desk to my computer set up ready to work. Let's start with the clothing transition. The so first thing you want to do is make sure you are lined up and you're ready and you have a plan for what you're going to change into. So I know that I'm going to start with the blazer and then I'm going to transition to taking the blazer off. You also want to consider what you're going to be doing in the shot beforehand. It's best to have a plan so that you're set when you're ready to film. Another thing to consider when creating your transition is to cut on the action itself. So if I'm doing a snapping action, I'm going to want to do that action a few times so that I can do my cut on the snap itself. This is going to make more sense as I show you how to do this. So let's create this. When filming, I strongly suggest that you set a timer. By setting a timer, you can easily get yourself ready and you don't have to stress or pull down the record button. So I set my timer. You know your timer is set once the timer goes white. And let's start recording that. So there you go. I recorded it and I filmed my snap. Now I wanna go in and I wanna edit my snap. So what I'm doing is I'm editing it to the action. So I'm editing it to where I did the snap. See that snap is kind of out of frame, so that's going to be a little bit trickier. So I'm just going to go back and refilm the clip. You want to make sure that you get each clip filmed right before you continue on to the next one. So if you don't like what that clip looks like, go back and refilm. Timer on and let's do this. Perfect. There we go. I can stop that preview that. There you go. My snap was good on there. It was in the frame, so it's good. So now I'm just going to trim the last frame. So I want to trim it to the action itself. So I'm going to go forward slowly so you can see that the action happens right there is where I actually snap. So I want to make it so that it's blurry or like in the midst of doing the action when I cut it. So there we go. We have that one. Now I can take my blazer off. This time, because this is the second clip and I trimmed my first clip, I can press the align tool and I can see what the last frame was of that clip. So I want to line myself up. When I'm lining my head up, I'm just making sure that my eyes and that my eyebrows look sharp so you can see when they match with your timer, I did set the timer, but you do have the option of either doing three seconds or 10 seconds. I suggest changing it to 10 seconds if the lineup is gonna take you a little bit longer to achieve, but if it's a simple alignment, then three seconds should be more than enough. Before I press record, I just wanna remind you that you're not going to just start from the end of the action. You wanna redo the entire action again, because this way, you can cut on that action so it looks more seamless than just pretending it's done and moving on. And let's record this. There we go. Let's see that. Before we preview it, let's trim it so that we know it's gonna look good. So see, I'm gonna trim it on the actual action and then end with the lens cover. Let's see how those look. Perfect. 
perfect. Okay, so we have the physical transition. Now we're gonna change it to the desk. So this tripod is going to be a little bit more difficult to use for this setup. So I am going to change my tripod. Depending on the tripod that you're gonna be filming on, you're gonna want a different adapter for your phone. So something small like this is good if it's a smaller tripod. So you see if I break this down, it's just this little piece here. However, if I add it to a bigger tripod like this that has a larger bracket on it, it's not going to allow me to set it in there and still fit my camera. So if I'm moving to a bigger tripod, I want something like this that's going to have that extra support so that I can add it to a bigger tripod. So I'm just gonna add, screw that on down here. There we go. And so this is actually going to allow me to put my camera up here and I can easily move it around on this big tripod. So my shot is going to be of me putting things on my desk. So I'm gonna to want to start by setting up my shot in camera. So I have my desk all set up now. Um, it's just gonna be clear to begin with and I'm gonna snap. My computer and props are gonna show up and I'm just gonna start typing and that's gonna be the end of the reel. And let's put a timer on. Let's record it. That was quick, you just wanted to record the snap. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna trim that. So once again, I'm trimming to the action itself. So midway through the actions where I wanna cut. There we go. Let's set everything up. Make sure my shot looks good, like that. Let's put this light on just to add some extra color to it. So now I'm just gonna have to align my snap to the other shot. Because I can't see it, this is a great opportunity to get a buddy to help you align where they can put your shot, your hand right into the right spot. If you can see it, it's a lot easier to align it, but because I can't see it, that's what I'm gonna ask for my buddy. So I'm gonna go on my camera, gonna add the align tool, gonna press my timer, and gonna bring in my buddy. The fingers don't have to be exactly the same because I will be doing the action again. So all that matters is that my hand is in the same position. So is that good? There we go. Okay, so he's gonna press record. Awesome. And let's stop that. Now you just gotta go back and trim it so that it's on the action, so that you cut on the action. There we go. And let's preview that. Awesome. So once you have all your clips filmed, it's just a matter of going in, previewing it, and making sure that they all match together, and trimming any of the videos that seem a little bit too long. So you can always go back, select the clips. This one seems, let's see if we can just trim the beginning of it. There we go. And let's see how that looks. So it's just really being accurate with it and really just trying to make it look as seamless as possible. And there you have it. Now you know how to create a snap transition. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace.